What's Gucci YouTube? It's your boy Young Mike back at it with another fire video. As y'all can see in the title today, this is real. Like, this is real life, bro. Like, if y'all don't understand what's going on in life, then I advise y'all to really do some research, you know, because we're living in the last days of time and it's about time people wake up and, and, and change their ways for the better, you know. I, I mean, it's better now than never, you know. So if y'all know me, I, I like to talk about things that are on my mind. So first off, before we start this video, I just want to say thank y'all for all the support, all the love, everything, guys. Um, can't thank y'all enough. You know, y'all doing the most, you know, and I love it. Make sure y'all hit y'all notification bell. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff, guys. Thank y'all for everything. All right, let's get started on this video. So, reason also why the reason I have my shirt off is so freaking hot, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, the only way to do a video, oh, shit. The only way to do a good video is to take off my shirt, like, to be comfy, you know? All right, you guys, so, the other day I was on YouTube, and, no, I was on Instagram. And I'm just watching this, right? I'm just watching these videos, right? I'm just, I'm just chillaxing watching these videos. And I see something. Damn, what am I sitting on? This shit feels uncomfy like a mug. I see something on Instagram, guys. I'm like, what the hell is this? And I see it's a it's it's somebody walking in the clouds. Instantly, you're gonna think it's Jesus or you know, Jesus, an alien, government officials looking down on us. Now, this is the craziest thing that I seen. I did a bunch of research on on this yesterday to see if that's a hoax. You see this cloud video where people walking on the cloud came out two weeks ago I barely found out yesterday and since then I've been doing research like a mug so that way y'all can't tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about because I know exactly what I'm talking about this is why I think Jesus is real and this is why y'all should be watching this video because this is real life facts so if y'all like if y'all know me I like to read the Bible and stuff like that you know I like to pray a lot and do all that good stuff because like God Help me get here. You know, Jesus helped me make this. This happen. Jesus is making. Jesus let y'all watch me right now. Right now, right now, you know. And um, this, y'all watching this video right now is a purpose. This Everything happens for a reason. So y'all watching this, I hope y'all remember this. I hope y'all go home and take this into consideration. Because this is real stuff, guys. This is real, real deal stuff. So bef before further notice, um, I'm going to show y'all what I found, you know. Sorry guys. <coughs> first off, <clears throat> first off, let's go to. Um, no, no, no. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna. I'm just gonna show y'all what I took screenshots of yesterday. Okay, you guys. So look, the first one we got is this video right here. If y'all look very closely at this video, y'all just type up on YouTube, um, Jesus Walks in Clouds. You're going to find this video, and it's very, very hard to tell if it's real or not. Now, if you're a true believer, people are saying, like, Jesus, that's not Jesus because, um... Why they say that? Oh, yeah, they said that everybody's quick to believe that that's Jesus. Everybody's quick to believe that that's Jesus. Everybody's quick to believe, but it could be a trick from Satan. No matter what it is, we never caught nothing like that before. Like, like I know they probably have, but they have never released it to the public. That that there that for being said, when this video dropped two weeks ago, it went fucking viral. It went absolutely viral. Like everybody was talking about it. I know not everybody like not viral like number one Kiki stuff, but. It, it did go viral, like, and it just, it, why it didn't go mainstream is because there was this 50-50 chance that it could be a hoax. And they didn't want to give them attention, more attention than they already had. Now, I'm looking at every hoax, uh, you know, everything, you know, it's only been two weeks, so it might need more time. 
to really realize what the hell that was because from what I saw in my perspective was somebody walking first then a, a body figure comes walking which makes me think what could that have been and out of nowhere like there's a big storm and there's a circle in the sky that has the sunlight coming down on it and if you look at that circle there's people walking over there like it was so crazy it's like if someone died at that moment and Jesus picked them up and then walked them to the heavens, you know? Like, something like that. It just freaks me out, right? So this freaked me out. This video really freaked me out and I was up all night till like 4 o'clock last night. And, uh, I started doing more research. <laughs> and I found out within little than almost a year ago, somebody took a picture of this. <laughs> <coughs> this was in the clouds guys he took a picture of New York this is what the cloud shaped looked like you can't tell me that doesn't look like a bunch of people staring down at the city and that's a better picture okay so look so look the photo said have been to take in by resident of the Big Apple shows. What looks like a crowd of giant shinwitted humanoids in the sky over the city. Right, right? YouTube channel Paranormal Cubicle was one of the first to share the images. Oh my gosh, this is real deal. Like they're investigating on this. In a video, the channel narrator said a possible paranormal event has been reported over the skies of New York. That is crazy. Now, what I think that is, this is what I think that is. There's people that say they came from the future. There's people that say that Trump will be reelected. So if Trump gets reelected, we all know that there's time travel available in the future. We all know that because somebody came from 2020-something, 20, said that Trump would get reelected. Plus, it's not, it's, he just said a bunch of stuff, right? That he came from the time traveling thing. And that, um, that people got their hands on time travel. That they made that possible by themselves, not even government officials. You know, somebody actually made that possible. That's what he was saying. So we all know Trump gets reelected. Listen to my words right now, 2020. We got, what, like almost a year and a half left. If Trump gets reelected, we all know that that dude was telling the truth. That dude really came from the future. Now, it's possible that he could have changed the timeline. It's possible. You know, I've seen a lot of movies and shit, but, like, it's possible he could change the timeline to where Trump won't be president in the future. So that way, when he goes, it's just crazy, guys. But he says he didn't like it in the future and that he didn't want to go back and that they're trying to make him go back. Like, what the freak is going on in the world? And I believe that, bro. That's not nothing to play around with. Anyway, so you seen this thing in the sky, those people, right, watching over New York. This is what I think. I think in the future, uh, people people came to tr try out the time machine, and somehow they have the ability to be in the sky, so that way they won't be seen on Earth. But in the sky, they could be like kind of unseen, and they could look down at the the past, or they could look down at how it used to be, like on a field trip in the future or something, you know. And they could just be like, oh, look, this is what happened, yaddy, yaddy. This is how the world used to look and all that stuff. Before there was the flying cars and this and that, like history events. And they just brought their class to the clouds or something. I don't know. Like, we could never tell. But that's my opinion is they came from the future probably. And they're on the clouds. And they're looking down on us to see, you know. Or, or aliens bro don't be don't be sleeping on the aliens bro aliens we probably not even living in a world we think we're living in already we probably in like an orb surrounding us like not letting us leave the earth type shit you know like they only want us to believe what, what what they want us to believe but i believe i believe in more more evidence i mean like I just can't be settled with seeing with two eyes. I gotta open up my third eye, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta open up the eye that people don't see with, you know? 
And that's what I've been doing. So guess what? I do some research in the Bible because I know I read about this one day. I know I read about this one day, dude. I know I did. So I go to the Bible. Mark 13, 26. The, the New uh, Testament version, right? Even the uh, English Standard Version. At the time, people would see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, clouds with great power and glory. Then everyone will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds with great power and glory. Okay, yada yada, right? Revelations 1-7 says, Look, He is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see Him, even those who pierced Him. And all those on earth will moan of Him to shout, to shout it, so shall it be. Amen. This verse brings together two other passages. Matthew 26, 64, in which Jesus tells Son Ryan, they will see the sun coming from the clouds of heaven. Which says Jerusalem inhabitants will mourn when they see the one they have pierced. Sorry guys, you know like in the Bible they have these big old words like, and back then like, we don't even use those words to this day. Um, but back then they used to use these words But they have some incredible words, you know, like some words I've never heard of like like for real for real. and I just be like I don't mind the word I just like kind of try to read it if I don't get it right. It's okay I know what I'm reading though. So that's just what it is But those those things say he's coming in the clouds and I knew that like and I think that this is awakening for all y'all so if all y'all that are watching right now if y'all don't have a little type of belief right now that that something's actually happening in this earth, this is not just normal stuff. I, I've seen stuff in the sky. I've seen stuff I wasn't supposed to see before. People don't believe me on that shit, but like, I'm a real ass nigga and I'm gonna tell it how it is. Like, I'm not about to lie over no fucking clout. That shit's whack as hell, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm trying to prove my point, like, I'm trying to prove my point, like, every person Every person thinks different, but like, my point is, y'all have to open up that third eye because if y'all don't, y'all don't know what y'all missing, you know? You could be getting robbed in front of your face, you could be, uh, people could be dying in front of your face, that you could be changing that stuff. All you gotta do is think different, and don't be thinking like everybody else, or don't think how you wanna think, you know? Sometimes you have to go around the way to find out what you need to find out, you know? I think Jesus is 100% real. You know, he's done so many blessings for me. Now I'm seeing this. Now I'm actually witnessing him. No way. Like, y'all gotta go watch that video and y'all let me know what y'all think because it's crazy. I think that it's time, you know. It's, it's, it's getting close to the end. And I'm not saying it'll be next year. I'm not saying it'll be five years from now. But we're getting close, man. I think that this will probably be the last generation that witnesses life, you know. Like... To be honest, I can't see me dying and and waiting. I want. I mean, it's just hard, guys. It's hard to think about. It's a lot to think about. I hope y'all like very interested in this video because it's very interesting. It's a very interesting topic, you know, to whether or not know if Jesus is real or not. And of course, I won't tell y'all everything. Like I could, I did research to see his. His uh, tomb and all that, like where he got resurrected and all that. And I would show y'all that, but guess what? I want y'all to believe. Y'all don't got to like, uh, I'm not going to show y'all proof and all that because God don't want that. He wants y'all to believe. He don't want y'all to see. But it's crazy, guys. So look, this is a picture of how Jesus really looked. This is a real photo that they, not a photo, but this is a painting a while back that they had about the only kind of Jesus picture we kind of figured out that looked like him so it turns out he has like short curly hair he had short curly hair like kind of like a perm kind of you know and he still had the beard but it wasn't that long it was kind of like a little bit long but that was due to the, like the Jewish tradition or something like that um, he didn't have that wet long wavy hair I mean he probably got it long but not that long but they showed how he really looked and it was kind of weird how he looked but it doesn't matter how he looks because it's the things he did for us you know 
Like nothing could change that. He could be looking like an alien, but if he did all those things for us, then it's amazing, you know? I'ma call him my God, you know, because that's great. Who can say they died for somebody, you know? Fair facts, bro, fair facts. You know, a lot of people think, a lot of people thinking I'm stupid, you know, like, I'm not stupid. I be, I be thinking too hard sometimes, but it's only for the better, you know what I'm saying? It's only for the better because I know one day Jesus is going to bless me with everything that I ever wanted. And I have that faith in me and I don't give up. Things get too hard, I say, Jesus, I know you got me. And guess what? He got me, bro. That's how I know already, like, this is not fake, bro. Every day I pray 10 times a day, minimum. Like, there's no way I'm praying to someone that's not there. I feel it every time I see movies and shit, like, it, it gets to me because I know this is real, bro. Like, this is real life. It's only a matter of time before we're all, like, you know, gone. But guys, music video coming. I'm recording on the 24th. We're gonna get lit, bro. I'm telling you, it's gonna be a lit music video. I gotta do everything in my in my power to make it lit. Um, I gotta talk to some people and make this work. You know, we're gonna make this happen. So I need y'all to turn on your notification bells and be ready for this music video to come out because I need all y'all support. I wanna see everybody share this music. Repost, share, SoundCloud it, all that stuff. I want to see this this music video go out there. I don't know if I, I think I'm going to do the Dodi Sauce drip, guys. So, y'all be tuned for that. It's going to be lit. I kind of, you know, switched the words a little bit to make it sound a little better. Of course, the audio is going to be on point. I'm going to make sure that it's on point this time. Because I know last time it was kind of staticky. Which I'm sorry for that. But we kind of, we did a bunch of shit to it. It was, it was weird. It was weird. We did a bunch of last minute stuff. But anyway, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. That's why I think Jesus is real is because they have the proof now. Like they don't have the proof, but like I've seen this these videos. I've read the revelations. I've read I've read the, the scriptures and I've I've experienced, you know, blessings on um, blessings. Like I'm not supposed to be here right now. I've been supposed to been dead, right? But I've been so blessed that it's just like God was with me every time. God was with me every time. I'm so blessed that I, I've been supposed to be in jail. I've been supposed to be in, um, you know, in trouble and shit. Like, God's so great. God's so great. Like, the, let's say I run into the one cop I do run into, and she just lets me go. Fucking cop. Like, God's great, dude. I'm telling you. God's great. I was going the wrong way down the one way one time, and the cop fucking, the first person I run into is a cop. All, he, all she said was turn around and pay attention. Dude, that's amazing. It's blessings. And I count my blessings, bro. You got to count all your blessings, bro. Because if you don't, you're going to forget. And I'll never forget my blessings. I know every blessings that I got. Every blessing. All right, it's about to stop. Thank y'all for watching. I'll be back at it with some more.